Welcome, welcome. The first car video uh, of 2020. We're kicking off with a bang. So this, this uh, is my 2009 Nissan 370Z or Z, depending on what part of the world you're from. Um, and those that have seen it before, probably don't recognize these. These little things, these are new, aren't they? Um, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Seriously, and literally, a car goes past, literally, oh, god damn. Anyway, so these are new, right? These are new things, these are louvers. Um, not to everyone's taste, no, but they are mine. I really like them. I think it looks really, really cool. And this, this is new as well. This is, well, this is carbon fiber, wet look, uh, from Cybon. Really, really nice. Good, right? Really, really cool. Wrong. Um, this is not the video that I wanted to make. I actually wanted to make something really, really good and positive and things like that. Um, but unfortunately, no, uh, it wasn't meant to be. So we've had a lot of problems with this, actually. Uh, and I started recording this video a long, long time ago. Uh, dropping it off, talking through the plans. Um, and now I'm gonna have to stop making this video and go and get a refund. Right, so we're back. We've got the refund, as you could tell. Um, and let's let's talk through why I have to get a refund. From afar, you might look at this and go, that looks good, doesn't it? It looks really, really cool. It looks good, good paint job, everything. Uh, well, you'd be mistaken, unfortunately. Um, so I took it to a professional paint job, and you can, you can see it now. It looks like a Satsuma. Uh, yeah, terrible. Really, really terrible paint job. Um, this is some of the... Well, this is the worst. I mean, look at it. As the light reflects off of it, you can see all of this orange peel. Now, it's not just orange peel. It is crap in the clear coat as well. And there's swirl marks everywhere. Um, which is not... That's not acceptable, you know, when you go to pay for it to be done. I mean, look at this. It's so, so bad. And it's not just there either. You know, it's even on the side louvers. You can kind of see it literally just reflecting off there. Hopefully it comes out on the camera. I can see it through the screen. Um... And, you know, if we walk around, there's even some, like, actual dust and, and, and lumps and bumps in the clear coat. Um, oh, you can't see it because my, my dumb head is in the way. Uh, but it's, it's, it's just terrible. It looks real, real bad. Um, despite the overall style being what I wanted it to be, you know, I, I think, personally, that's really, really cool. Um, you know, th th this, is, this is the ultimate look that I was going for with the Z. Uh, this was going to be part of the completion of it really. It was going to be this, wing, and then a new bumper, and then we were going to be done basically. Uh, but unfortunately, the saga continues, and I'll talk you through it. So basically, when we had the the old uh, wing on, it took a, few, took a few spots up, but it also um, sat here well, you can see it. This is literally where the old wing was. Um, and this is damage that the previous body shop did. And these are the OEM wings holes, right? Now, the problem is with this, obviously this wing doesn't go there, does it? It doesn't sit there. It sits higher up. Um, personally, I really like that look. I think it looks really good. It even comes up and 
and follows the body lines uh, perfectly. It's, I mean, Cybon are the best of the best when it comes to the carbon manufacturing. Like I said, look at that, how it follows the body line. Beautiful, really, really love it. Unfortunately, can't do much about this. Can't weld them up because this is aluminium or aluminum, as you Americans say. Um, so this leaves us in a very, very tricky predicament. What to do? Because I can't buy an OEM one. Because in the, in the UK, they've all got bloody holes in. Um, so what do I have to do? Because, again, I don't trust anyone as per this. Because we've got the refund for that. It's not like I'm going to... I can't really trust someone to weld it up and risk the warping uh, and then repaint it. Because if this is... If this is the best people are doing here in the UK, this is... They should be ashamed of themselves. Quite frankly, this is, this is atrocious. So I can't trust anyone to do this, can I? Obviously not. No. So what do we do? I've had to order uh, a carbon fibre boot. Not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, in fact, the money which was has gone on the carbon fibre boot was supposed to go on a really, really cool uh, new front bumper, uh, which was going to be partial carbon fibre. And then that was it. That was, that was the car done. I had no more plans for it then. Unfortunately, because of the OEM boot structure and the OEM... Uh, holes and placement with of the, the wing that goes there I have, I have to order an aftermarket one and, the, and this car they don't make anything really for the aftermarket uh, outside of really really expensive parts because it's not very common so I've had to order a Cybon carbon fibre wet look as well so look it'll, it'll look just like this oh. um, wing uh, bonnet boot god damn get my words out so that's on the way That'll be a video in and unto itself. Uh, and there's there's a lot of other plans now because unfortunately, that's going to look real dumb. That's going to look real, real dumb. Um, I can't have that because this is a show car, or it's supposed to be anyway. That's the plan for this car. I wanted it. I wanted to build it as a show car. So once that's done, and I've saved my pennies a little bit more, quite a lot, uh, we're going to get a carbon fibre bonnet as well. Uh, all wet look, so it'll go carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, and then come to the carbon fiber uh, rear end there. Now we will have to obviously get these repainted at some point. Um, I, think, I think the worst part of all of this is, it's gonna be difficult for you to see, but I, I did these wheels myself and the finish is better than that. That's embarrassing. They should be ashamed of themselves. I did this in my garden. I did these wheels in my goddamn garden and the finish is better. Um, so big plans for the Z this year. Uh, and also I need to tell you about the Subaru. I know, guys, you wanna see the Subaru? I know, um, I've got big news about that, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately, it's gone, it's not here anymore, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, so other plans for this car. Uh, we see the black calipers there. They're gonna be changed. They are going to be painted all up and red. Uh, complete with brand new decals on them as well. Again, I choose the quietest place ever and this car's going past, god damn. Uh, we're also going to have carbon fiber uh, overlays on here. Um, you can't replace these, you can't really uh, paint them up, there's not really any point. So we're gonna get a carbon fiber overlay. Um, and some other bits and pieces which I don't want to reveal just yet. I think I've revealed enough. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We're back with car vlogs. I know it's not my normal thing, but I love doing it. I love, oh, oh no. We might be getting some wheels. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so I love doing these car videos. I know they're not for everyone, but hopefully, because now, now we're doing a lot more with the Z, hopefully a lot, a lot of people kind of tune into that and you, you like watching the Z come together. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please do give this video a like and a share. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. If you're in the UK and you know anyone, that can do this better than this, please let me know. Um, if, you're, if, if you own a workshop, if you know of a workshop that will be willing to take this on, please do let me know. Um, I also need to adjust this because there's no weather stripping. Um, I asked him to put the weather stripping on, he didn't. I've had to order new weather stripping, so I have to put that on myself. That'll be another video unto itself because it rattles. It does that when I drive. Not fun, super irritating. So anyway, thanks so much. Take care.